These rocks right here, they're all silver minerals, different kinds. That's pure silver. Cool. This is a silver lead sulfide. It's called bolioite. That looks pretty creepy a little. Yeah. This is a silver sulfide. It's called ancanthite. Whoa. If you look on here real close, you can see some gold on here that I found. You see it right there? Oh, I saw one. Okay. There's also gold on here, but it's, you can't hardly see it. It's all rusty. Hmm. This is a big piece of copper. This came from Michigan. Oh, that's cool. This is what is called half breed. It's actually copper, but that part up there is silver. Whoa. What kind of mountains you got those rocks? And this is copper from Arizona that I found. Ooh. This is another piece from Arizona. Cool. Okay. This is this called stebnite. Whoa. It's antimony sulfide. It's kind of like a ship <laughs> that's destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a bunch of sticks together, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So where'd you get that one? I bought that one. Um, let's see. There's one down here. This is also... Uh, where is it? Right here. This is stebnite also. And this I found. And this came from near my mining claims in Hawaii County. Cool. It's kind of like a glass one. This is a big piece of quartz. Should turn so you can see it in the light. Hmm. Cool. And I found that up by uh, Idaho City. So what does that look like? It's kind of like glass. Mm -hmm. It is glass in a way. It is? Sure. It's made out of the same thing, silicone and oxygen. How did I do that? <laughs> this is called turbinite. This is uranium, Ooh, copper. Wow. Oh, wow. It's uh, radioactive. Want to show the Geiger counter? Uh, yeah. Okay. This is normal. Okay, now. Whoa. That's radioactivity is basically a, is a, is an atom is breaking down and is actually spitting out bits and pieces of, of probably neutrons and even electrons and uh, protons can come out but mostly mostly it's a breakdown of uh, spitting out neutrons. This could actually over time change into another metal and change into another metal and another metal until it finally becomes lead. How long does cool. it <laughs> Thousands of years. <laughs> Thousands of years? Yes. Okay. So how does that work? It's uh, it's an atom and it's just breaking down. It's unstable and it, particles are spitting out of the atom. And it basically it changes the number of protons and when it does that, it, every time it spits out a proton, it changes into something else. Until finally it changes into lead. So once it becomes lead, it's stable. Yeah. It stops changing. 